Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. Um, today I'd like to introduce you to the background layering stamp from my fixtures and fittings collection. This is going to be absolutely perfect for your masculine makes, uh, for creating really fun dimensional and textured backgrounds on your cards, your journals, your scrapbook pages and everything else. Um, really easy to use. So this is actually a live demonstration that I've taken a snippet from so you can see how I use it. You can use any colours you like, mix and match your colours for different different designs as you'll see in these cards I'm showing you here. You'll find the link to this stamp set on both the UK and the US site down below in the description, but also links to things like the stamping platform that I'm using. So let's get on with that demonstration. Um, so there's two parts to this stamp set and I'm going to stamp one and then the other. It doesn't matter which way round you do it, but it's basically a positive and a negative. So this will be one half. What colours should we go for? Because we'll have white come through as mm. in parts of the design. So what have we got here? Should we do a green? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Green. If I do the lighter green and then a black, then that will really show up. Yeah, that would be cool. So we'll use this. I think these these are not my stamps. They're actually, they were in the studio. Let's see, that's upside down. No, that's the right way up. Doesn't matter where you position the first one, just make sure it's on your paper. I'm using the Creative Stamp Press. I had these on the live last mm -hmm. week. Absolutely love them. So I'm just going to go over the entire image. This is a little leaf pad, so just have to get all the way over it and get that colour on. Doesn't matter what inks you use. I've done this with. Ooh, let just put that nice and flat. There we go. Had a little bit of an air bubble underneath my stamp where I didn't put it flat on my platform. But I've used this with Distress Inks, Distress Oxides, Versamark, uh, anything, any ink you want really. Mm -hmm. Just stays on will obviously stain your stamp a little bit. Don't would you suggest that. a light one first like that? I would say it doesn't really matter. Okay. Because I, but I would say if you're using, this one is one colour. Yeah, yeah. I would say use a contrasting right, colour okay. for the second stamp. That means I'm sense. just going to go in with this and make sure that everywhere's got, this is the beauty of a stamp platform, oh, isn't it? Isn't you can it? just keep going backwards. For years we've all messed out, haven't we? We were like, oh, yeah. throw it away, throw it away. And you can't, you don't need to anymore. Yeah. I quite like sometimes when stamps miss. I think they yeah. visual other yeah. images as well. So what I've done here is I'm positioning my stamp directly over. And you can see through the stamp. How have you done that? So you can see right over it. So you can see through the stamp to oh, where you yeah. previously stamped. It's the exact same image, but the opposite of it. I can see by those little three holes there. Yeah. So if you look at your shapes, you'll be able to perfectly position that over in the same place. Pick that one up with your stamp platform. So definitely a stamp platform is a must for these background stamps when they're like this. It seriously looks this, like paper, printed paper. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. This ink pad, I don't know how good it is. This, again, is one that was in the studio. I've got my own, but, you know, if they're already here. Use them. Use them. So this is, uh, what is it, archival ink. Just gonna... So you can just use either or, or together. Yeah, definitely. I you, I tend to just go for whatever colour. I go for the colour rather than the type of ink. Yeah, that's true. Right. So if I've got a green that's a, a, I don't know, a Versamark that I love, but then I've got a red that's a Distress Oxide, uh -huh. I'll use them together. Really? Yeah, different layers, yeah. So that's Look my impression. That. You can just see where yeah. it's just... Sometimes we do that and it's not because... It, there might be a little bit of air trapped behind yeah. some and it's hard, but with a stamp platform, that has no problem. Exactly, so just pressing. And what I usually do at home mm -hmm. is I get my, if I've got my jumper on, I put my jumper over my palm. Really? Because I, I use a stamp platform because I have problems with my wrists. So I put that over and because of the fabric, it's nice and smooth on there. And it's it's just, yeah, doing over. it like this, you get a burn, feel a burn. Yeah. It's friction, isn't it? Sort of friction. There we go. Push that down, make sure that's all transferred. And then look at that. That's so clever. So then you've got you've got your green. That's kind of a yellowy colour, isn't it? Yeah. You've got your black and then you've got your white coming through as well. So you've got three different colours. And like I said to you, with all of these, you so could there's do more than that your though, teal yeah. and brown, your red and black, and well, red this, and green. That's my favourite. You like that one? Well, that one with the red, I actually did... Well, was it the green? It was a green in the background. Brown, I did the brown well. around the edge. I love that because it, it gives you that contrast. Mm. Red and green are opposite on the wheel. Yeah. 
thank you so much for watching today. If you love this stamp as much as I do, you can see the links down below to purchase it at Craft Stash. And I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel as well so you can keep up with more inspirational videos like this one. 